Hello everybody, welcome back to week two of the RTW TV Weekly Roundup. I'm in my favorite place to get new review material. It's a relative smorgasbord, a cornucopia, if you will, of great review fodder. Um, stuff like bottle caps. I'm in odd lots. Um, enjoyed the second episode. It's a blast. Had a great time making it. Later. Tomo has just discovered bubbles for the first time. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd better take Sinestro back to his stasis cell. Does he need a roommate? I think we'll pass. Nice working with you. Likewise. So it's about midnight on a school night, and uh, sitting on the couch procrastinating, not doing my homework, watching a little TV, I got the urge for a random late night snack. And you know food's always better late at night when you get that craving. So I went to CVS, the local pharmacy, and I picked up a couple things. Uh, we're going to do an on-spot review. First off, California Shell Pistachios. This is from CVS's own Gold Emblem brand. Uh, I've had pistachios in the past, never without the shell, so I'm kind of excited for this one. Now also, uh, viewers at home, take note that recently I developed a food allergy to peanuts, uh, specifically hazelnuts, uh, I believe chestnuts, uh, a couple of them. So uh, I don't know if I'm allergic to pistachios. We're going to find out. Oh. Well, well, if I am, it was totally worth it. Let me just uh, relay that to you. These are good. Um, salty, but they have that weird quality that pistachio is uh, alone in having in the food kingdom. Kind of pungent. Really good, though. Now, to wash those down, which, by the way, were quite good. Um, Arizona. Who will be seeing more of later in this episode. Um, never had a fruit punch before. Never buy one, get one free. Uh, let's give it a sit. That's actually quite good. Um, it's really smooth, really sweet, really light. Um, you see the picted on the cover, everything from pears to maybe apricot, strawberries, cherries. It looks like we have some some green and some purple grapes. They're leaving no stone unturned. One more, one more sip before I would give this an official score. That's not bad at all. I'm going to have to give it a B plus with a strong recommendation for late night sippage. See you later. Well, on my late night snack at CVS, um, I was craving something cold. So I went with the Toll House chocolate chip cookie sandwich, ice cream sandwich. Now, this is a very indulgent treat, so we'll see how it pans out. I already ripped it open, and already I kind of noticed it looks a little dry. looks a little freezer burnt, so maybe I'll let it, maybe it'll taste better after it melts a little bit. We'll see. Pretty good. Um, but I'm more of a chocolate sauce kind of girl. Or peanut butter. It's good. It'll probably taste a little bit better once it's a little melted. Also, I got um the buy one get one free um Arizona tea. I always get the diet green tea. Uh, it's pretty good. It has a lot of flavor. It's pretty sweet. Um, I think it's funny though when I get these in the summertime when I drive around in my car. You know, I'll keep it in between my legs and I'll drink it. And they're, you know, it looks like I'm drinking a tall boy, but oh well. Yeah, right now it looks like you're holding the Leaning Tower pizza or something. It's uh, huge. Yeah. And I love the gold. Pretty, uh, pretty ghetto. And you'll save $10 instantly. These special dolls are available exclusively. Well, we just left the big Kmart. This is stop one of many on today's Halloween quest. We're trying to gear up for the, the episode, so uh, we'll keep you tuned in. Well, we just left Big Lots. Uh, Adam picked up a few miscellaneous items, all Halloween themed.
everybody, it's Brian here. Uh, we're going to take a look at Southern Style Sweet Tea from Arizona. Now let's talk real quickly about Arizona, the company, as well as Sweet Tea itself. Now, Arizona is probably best well known for the large cans that they sell in um, gas stations and convenience stores nationwide for 99 cents. Not the best tea in the world, but a really good value for the buck uh, you're going to spend. Now, Sweet Tea itself it seems like lately has really rose in the popularity, but in fact it's been around for a long time. I mean, here's a, an empty can of Kroger, a local um, uh, grocery. This is their brand, which wasn't bad. Um, but I mean, Sweet Tea, as I said, it's been around for a long time. In fact, the earliest known recipe of Sweet Tea was found to be in a book called Housekeeping in Virginia in 1879. Uh, really popular in the South, especially in Atlanta. Um, let's go ahead and pour a glass and uh, try Arizona's. Okay, the moment of truth here, uh, Arizona's Southern Style Sweet Tea. See, I kind of have a branded thought in my head, because when I think about Arizona, I think about their lemon iced tea, which is, it offers a big punch, it's very pungent, like the lemon, it's really strong, not for everybody. But as a discerning tea drinker, uh, this isn't quite that strong. Um, Now, the thing about sweet tea is that there's a lot of varieties. If you want strictly the sugar, just thick sweetness, this might not be for you. Now, albeit this is quite sweet, there's still um, a tea taste to it. Uh, not real strong, but it's kind of straddling that line. So, um, if you're a fan of the, the overly sweet tea that kind of just makes you kind of cringe, it's so sweet, so sugary, this might not be the route to go. But this is cheap. You can get it in a big... Um, container like this or you can also get it in smaller dollar can sizes. Um, for me, I like genuine real tea and if I like sweet tea, I like it to be authentic southern sweet tea. This is neither, so um, I'm going to have to settle for a C plus, but for a cheap alternative, it's a decent knockoff. Yeah, I, I, I saw that episode. It was, well hold on a second. Anyway, it was another fun week here on YouTube, the Weekly Roundup. We're going to be back next week, next Saturday night, same YouTube channel, same website, ReviewTheWorld.com. Next week, i got some really good stuff for you. Make sure you come back. All right, we'll see you then. Later.